Now we will log in as root user on rack1 node and open two terminal windows. We'll use the second terminal window to connect to rack2 node. Always look at the prompt which shows the user and uh, node name which we are connected to. We'll switch to the rack1 node uh, command window and you can see here we are connected to rack1 as root user and we'll issue a oracle asm status command to see oracle asm is loaded now we'll run oracle asm scan disks and list disks command and we can see here we don't have any disks marked as asm disks under slash dev we can see we have some devices like SDB, SDC, SDD which are the iSCSI disks we identified and discovered from the SAN storage. So now we will create a partition on this SDB, SDC and SDD. So fdisk command uh, using the p option will create a new partition and we are creating a primary partition and we'll create a full size so just selecting the defaults print command again shows the current partition format for that device we'll do the same thing for SDC we'll create a partition and notice that we are just creating one partition on each device and we will not format them because we are going to use them as ASM disks. Now we list uh, the devices under uh, dev. We'll switch back to rack2 node command window and if we list the devices here it hasn't recognized all the new partitions yet. We'll use the fdisk command on sdb and when we print uh, we can see that SDB1 as a single partition exists on the SDB device. We'll check for SDC and that partition exists. SDD also that partition exists. It has not yet updated the dev uh, devices so we can ignore that. We'll switch back to the rack1 node and now we will mark these as ASM disks using Oracle ASM create disk command and all we have to pass is the ASM disk name and the device where we are going to create the disk. Once we issue this command it will mark the disk header as ASM and it will also in instantiate it. Now we'll run a scan disks command and list disks command with Oracle ASM. And we can see there are three disks created now. Now we switch to rack2 node. And basically because these are uh, SAN devices, now we should be able to discover those OCR, FRA and data ASM disks we created from the node 1. Now we'll check under dev and we will see that the partitions also l are listed now. Now we can close these windows and log off but we are ready to install grid infrastructure software.